Hello everybody and welcome back to the man in the middle attack section. Now, in the previous video I showed you how you can use the, or how you can do the ARP spoofing attack with the ARP spoof tool that comes pre-installed in Kali Linux. Now, we ran multiple commands at the same time in order to do that. So right now uh, we will be running the, the same attack just with one command using man in the middle framework tool that we installed. But before we do that, I just want to show you some problems that you might encounter while installing the man in the middle framework. Now, if you do not have some dependencies or some Python, I believe, files installed in Kali Linux, you will not be able to run this. Now, I showed how to install in the previous videos, but right now I will show you how you can follow the, uh, how you can follow all the instructions they have on the website and install it properly. Now, if you if it works for you with the previous installation, you can skip this video. So, first thing you want to do is let's open up our terminal. I will enlarge this a little bit. So, let me just go on view and then zoom in and zoom in once again. And right now, what I want to do is open the Firefox and go to the man in the middle framework on GitHub. So, let's wait for our Firefox to open. Basically, there are some few commands that we need to run in order to install all of the files that we need uh, for this to work. So let us just type here man in the middle framework GitHub. And let's open the first link. So let me just see Firefox. Okay, so probably I have the burp suit as a proxy. So let me just turn that off for a second. If I go to my network settings, as we can see, my manual proxy configuration, we need to set it to no proxy. And let's go. We should be good to go right now. So let's reload this page. And we will click on the first link, which will lead us to our GitHub repository for this tool. So let's just wait for this page to load. And here it is. So we click on the first link, which is this one. And on this page, they will have a link to follow the instructions for the installation. So let's just wait for this to load as well. And then we will be good to go. So let me just lower this video or this window right here. So we can have terminal right here and this right here. So let's scroll down on this page and let's find the link where the installation is. So here it is. Prefer ring to wiki for installation instructions. So just click on that link and you will see. Let me just launch this until we run something and you will see the commands that you need to run in order to properly install this with all the tools on all the programs it needs in order to run. Now some of the commands are not necessary. Uh, I will show you which ones. For example, these for the Arc Linux, we do not run these at all. We will run the this command right here which is the important one. So first of all, let's copy this command. As it says right here, this is on Debian, uh, Ubuntu, Car Linux, and so on. Uh, so we need to run this. Now it worked for me without this command, but if you do not have these files, this program will not work for you. Now I already installed this. So if I type it right here, it will basically tell me that I already have everything installed. So just click here, enter. So we copy the command, enter it in terminal. And for me, everything is actually installed already. And as we can see, is already the newest version. Now for you, if it asks you for the, if it asks you to install this, just press there. Yes. And wait for this to finish. And then we can go on to the next command. Now for the next command, you can do this. You can basically pip install this virtual and wrapper, wrapper, or however you pronounce it. And you can source in order to uh, edit it. But for me, this is, this really isn't necessary. If you want to, you can do this. Uh, basically, it will work without these th uh, three or four commands as well. So what I will do right now is skip right to this command, which basically we ran in the previous installation as well. So you just clone the, the repository. Uh, in your root uh, directory. Basically, I already did that, so I, I will be skipping this command as well, since I already have it cloned in my repository. Now, what you want to do after that, you want to run this command right here. So, just paste it in terminal, run it, and for me, I believe this is already finished, since I already did all of this before. 
And the last command you want to run is the command we already ran before, is pip install our requirements. So once you install the requirements, let's copy this. You can close this window since we won't be needing this anymore. And when you install the requirements, everything should be good to go. After that, you will be able to run the tool. Now, in case you are still not able to run some of the tools, you might want to run those virtual commands that we skipped, but I don't think that will actually change anything. This should work perfectly without those commands. Uh, basically, let me just show you if I just type here, let me enlarge the terminal, if I type here mitmf dash dash help, you will see I will get printed all of the available options right here and we will notice that the tool is working perfectly at the moment. So in case it wasn't working for you, it should be working right now since we installed some of the programs that you need in order to run this. And in the next video, we will be covering all of these or some of these options right here and running our first one command arp spoofing man in the middle attack. So that would be about it uh, for this video. And I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.